Hi, I'm Angela Fair. I'm a watercolor artist. I've been painting for 25 years. I absolutely love my paintings and who I am as an artist. And I love empowering other artists to develop their own intuitive style and to really paint from the heart and become your own favorite artist. That's what my channel is all about. When I was asked what the number one mistake that watercolor artists make is, I had to think for a while because there's a lot of advice out there for watercolor artists and a lot of do's and don'ts. Watercolor artists don't use black, watercolor artists never use white, you can't fix mistakes in watercolor, overworking isn't a watercolor artist's curse, you have to use a limited palette, you should only use transparent colors. Um, there's just a lot of advice out there and it can feel really overwhelming and make an artist really fearful. I think the very biggest mistake that watercolor artists make is not trusting themselves. When you start painting, you start because you have this deep inner urge to paint and then for some reason it all goes out the window. We hear rules and we hear do's and don'ts and we want to do it right. And all of those things chisel away at that little voice inside that knows what it wants to create, knows what it wants to say, uh, but is a little bit afraid to speak up in, in the onslaught of all that advice. As you're learning to paint, it's important to know the techniques. It's important to be able to uh, know the do's and don'ts so you can de decide which ones you're going to follow and which ones you're going to abandon. But it's even more important to continue to make room for your inner artist to come out. Create space in your painting practice to play to experiment. A lot of the common thoughts about watercolor are limiting beliefs. You can't fix mistakes. You should only use transparent colors. Again, limiting you and, and boxing your creativity in. As you paint, look for freedom, look for self-expression, look for those quirky little obsessions that are characteristic to who you are as a person. Those are the things you want to chase and get down onto paper. That's what's going to make your art unique. It's what's going to make it deeply satisfying to your heart and it's going to help you to become your own favorite artist. We can even lean into making mistakes because mistakes create new possibilities and they don't have to feel like failure. The number one thing that I want to share with all of my students in all of the classes that I teach here online on YouTube and on my online courses is to learn how to trust yourself. If you can trust your inner artist and encourage them, create a, make a creative safe place for your inner creativity to come out, you get to create your most exciting and inspiring work. You get to create works of true authenticity, full of life that are going to welcome other people into your work and create deep personal connections. It's why we started painting in the first place. We don't want to lose sight of it because someone's throwing a bunch of rules at us. Do what is right for your art and reject beliefs that hold you back. I'm Angela Fair. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment and let me know what limiting beliefs you need to reject and let go of. What's holding you back right now? I've teamed up with a bunch of other creative YouTubers to share our answers to some of the biggest mistakes that artists make. In the description below the video, you can find links uh, so that you can check out the other videos in this series and be inspired by the wisdom of these amazing artists.